So let's have a look at some descriptive statistics. So what you do is you go up to the top and you go to analyze. You go analyze descriptive statistics. So just looking at my own instructions here. And then descriptives and then descriptives. So what we're going to look at, we're going to look at weight. So we have to move weight across. So you make sure it's highlighted and then you press the arrow and it takes it across. If you didn't want to do that, you could actually just double, double click it and it will move it across. So we're going to look at weight. Then we're going to click options and choose what we want. So we want the mean, the standard deviation. I'm going to put the range in there as well. We've got the mean and the max. Some of the variance and stuff like that we'll get to later. I think that's pure everything I want. So I will click continue and I will click OK and then it produces page. But the main thing is this is our output. So what we've got here is it says we've got some descriptive statistics and it's here. So here's our weight. We've got 45 observations all. The range is 72. The minimum is minus 17. The maximum is 55. The mean is 16.8. And the standard deviation is 16.28. And all these are in grams. So that's overall, that's all the racks together. It'd be really nice if we could actually look at them separately. And you do that slightly different. So now we go back and we go analyze. But this time, we're going to look for explore. So we go to descriptive statistics game. Instead of using descriptives, now we're going to choose explore. Because we want to explore the relationship between group and weight. So the dependent thing is going to be weight. And the group is going to be our factor list. So this is the thing that we're interested in. And this is the thing that we think that predicts or affects it. So we've got weight and the group. And now we can click OK. And now it's produced a load of output, basically one for each group. So here is the control group, and you've got the mean, you've got the variance, the standard deviation, the minimum, the maximum, the range. So this is all for the control group. This is all for the ozone group as well. The thing you can do is you might want to have some sort of visual representation of that and if we wait to process and go down, it's very nice. It produces a side by side box plots. So remember, whenever you look at data, either descriptive or side by side, when you come to comparison, you need to think about four things. You need to think about shape, location, spread and outliers. So first of all, Shape's a bit hard about histograms. I haven't got histograms, and I'm not going to do it in this particular video. But you can at least look at these and go, well, this looks roughly symmetric. That is this black line, which is the median, lies roughly halfway between this line, which is Q3 and Q1. If you don't understand that, don't worry, we'll cover it in the lectures. Same here, again, this black line, the median lies halfway through. This is all the stuff for the control group, and this is the ozone. So roughly they look symmetric, although histograms would be nice to look at. Location. How does the location compare? Remember, we have two measure location, mean and median. So the mean in the control group is 22.35, and in the ozone it's 11. So first of all, this seems to be a lot lower. The weight gain for rats in the ozone group seems to be a lot lower than the weight gain for the um, control group. The median, another one we can look at, remember, which is less sensitive to outliers, we've got 23 versus 11. So in both cases, this seems to have a lower average weight gain in the ozone group and the control group. And you can see this here, if you compare these two lines, notice this one, which is the median for the ozone group, is a lot lower, it's about here, compared with the median for the control group. Okay, so spread. How variable are these things? So we use either the standard deviation, which is 10.79 for the control, and 19.08. So this is a lot smaller than this. Again, if we go back here, you could look at the height here, see the height here. It's a lot less than the height here. So if you look at these rectangles, this is a taller rectangle than this. 
If I don't want outliers, any potential outliers, well, the nice thing with box plots is they get indicated. You've got one here, which is value number one, and here, value number four. So, they are potential outliers in this particular group, the control group. So, in the control group, it's probably the minus 17. Yeah, that seems to match. And the top one in the control group is 41. And if we go back here, number four is at minus 17, and number one is 41. So the numbers it gave you in that um, plot there, these numbers, one and 14, correspond to the rows in your data if you want to find them. Okay, so now we've got some output. We've got nice pictures which you might want to use in your report. If you all want to use your report and you've got some descriptors you want to use them, that's really good. We're going to show you in the next semester how to, sorry, next prac how to get them in. But basically you can copy and paste them into Word if you want to have a spoiler. But we need to save this information. Now you need to save it twice. This is called output. If you want to save these plots and etc. for later, you need to save this output. Well, this is data. If you want this later, you have to save this data. If you don't save both of them things, when you come next time, they won't be there. So first of all, let's save the data. So we go File, Save As. It comes up. I'm going to put it in data again. And your data is an SAV file. An SAV file is basically SPSS data. So I'm going to call it Rats. I'm going to go save. I'm putting this on my U drive under data for me. Save. Oh, yeah, fine. Replace it. That's good. Now I need to go back to my output. And here I want to save this output, so I will go five, five, save as. And this time it's going to be output. So let me add a new folder called SPSS output. So I'm going to call this rats. And notice it's an .spv. And I can open that next time if I want. Say all done. Cool. Now I'm finished. I can go file, exit, all close down. And then I can close down Citrix Receiver. Okay, cool. All done. See you next time.